So next family I will create is a dampproof course in Danish Murpap on top of this, so we can continue our construction uh, upwards. So I will create now a dampproof course that is universal, so it will be uh, possible to use on any face, that means um, a horizontal face or a vertical face. So this time I create a new family based on the template metric generic model face based. As you can see when we open this we have something more than we had before. Um, we have a solid here um, and that means we are going to create this on top of this. This will not be visible when we load this into the project. So here we have also our reference planes. Um, so first of all I will create some reference lines and I'll come back to a bit later why this is reference lines and not reference planes. So we create a reference line or we can say we create um, four of them like this. So first of all I create some dimensions here like this and I press equal because I want to have this equalized around the center of this intersection that we see here. Like this, same way here. I need to extend those like this. And then I create another set of dimensions on top of this here and here. So first of all, before we create any um, extrusion or 3D uh, geometry, we need to, to figure out if this uh, works at all before we create that. So when I select this dimension I just made here, I have the opportunity to create a parameter. So let's do that. We have to choose, should this be a type parameter or a, an instance parameter? I'll come back to this a bit later. What is the difference between those two? In this case, it would be a good idea to create this as an instance. So I check instance. This is um, the dimension that I'm uh, creating parameter, a family parameter out of. So, and that would be named as Y. The other one we select, we create that as a parameter as, as well. Instance, and that might be X value or named as X. So if I go up here, and now I will try to see if this works at all. So if I change this X value here, if I change that to uh, 390, that might be the thickness of my foundation. And the Y, so that might be 390 and then we can say for example 500 here in the x uh, value. If I say apply you can see what happened here. The reference um, the reference lines they followed as I changed the dimension here so that might work well as it's supposed to be. So okay to this and now I can then say create extrusion when I take the rectangle here and I want to start this rectangle in the intersection of those reference lines like this. And it's important to remember to lock all four locks that we have here. 
So, and I then say finish. The thinnest that we can create this is one millimeter. And that might be good enough. So I forgot to save this. I'll do that now, save as family. I save it as 100 damp proof course. And then I load this into the project to see how it works. So from the factory, the family design, into the building site, load into project. Now you can see it's a bit different from what we created before. Now we have the damp proof course at the tip of my mouse. As long as you can see I move my mouse over face, it will rotate along that face. I have the opportunity to, to place it on a face. I also have the opportunity to place it on a work plane. Work plane can be a level, but in this case I want to place it on top of this. Remember as we could before, we can rotate this. So let's just try to place this here on top of our uh, Laker blocks, like that. Um, the reason why I used reference lines and not reference planes, that is because that will give me the opportunity to, to drag in those grip handles that we have here. That is a nice feature for some families to have the opportunity to do that.